What's up, everybody? Circus here coming at you with the box. One week later, this time oh, we're doing... man. I know, this time is Darkness Gimmick. Uh, there was a lot of hype around this box, right, with uh, gimmick puppets in there. And a lot of people said, where's the hype, Circus? What are you talking about? And there was a lot of hype on Twitch, in our Discord. Yeah, it was everywhere. Uh, we, we did a poll, and like half the people that responded to the poll were all about gimmick puppets. So, yeah, there, there was a lot of hype behind it. Um, so, what do you think? We're get, we're gonna have to, we can't just say yes or no, is this box good? We're going to have to dive into it a little bit. But what's your initial reaction, your gut reaction? Good box, uh, bad Darkness box? Darkness Gimmick is an awful name. Like, why would you even go for that? <laughs> so like, you went with the name just being bad. The, yeah, it yeah is like bad. just at face value, I had bad vibes from reading the name. Like, who's who's naming these boxes? Come on, man. Right. <laughs> well, let's dive a little bit into the box. Let's take a look at the URs. Was there... Uh, we did a full dive into Gimmick Puppets. We're, we just said, you know, it's still a little early to tell. But, you know, given time, they might be able to yeah. do something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gimmick puppets suck. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's, it's, it, 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 if, if anyone has played the game for a significant amount of time, mm -hmm. uh, if you guys remember when Auto Mats first came out, yeah. And they had the broken skill, they had the broken cards, they just didn't have, I believe, the, uh, the doo 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 dwarf gloves. Right. And the, um, the bowser and the abyss dweller and all those power cards so before that line of support this is how gimmick puppets feel right now like that version one okay. of automats the engines there the cards are there the plays are there but the final product is just not good <laughs> it right. just doesn't do right anything uh so, so we just I, gotta I give a little bit more time yeah i mean uh, it needs more support as of right now i do not recommend going into the box solely for gimmick puppets until mm -hmm. they just flat out give them more support because it's just the main draw of gimmicks which is weird right because it's an anime deck and recently anime decks have broken skills right and to be fair this the skill that they did give them is really really good um we just need more just support. restriction yeah and then it sucks too because it's like because of the restriction on the skill i don't know if like new support it's not as flexible as the deck like right that's all right, well, so there you go. So just wait. If, just wait. if, if you want to go into this box just for gimmick puppets, <laughs> you might want to wait. But I wanted to yeah. take a look at the URs. Was there anything like standalone? Because a lot of times, maybe you're not into the, the archetype that's selling the box, but maybe there's some yeah. standalone cards, right? Uh, we did yeah. see the Dyson Sphere. Is this is this worth going into the box for? We saw it in <laughs> uh, one of right the now. tournaments, right? Yeah, we saw one like a meme Blue Eyes deck go into Dyson Sphere. Yeah. But um, it's not really the worth card it. itself is fine, but the level two, level nine requirement is just too difficult for any current, okay. even rogue tier deck, even mm -hmm. fun tier deck to really realistically make. Uh, so it's not worth going in for that. No, um, I do see uh, Insector support up here. We did yeah. see a little bit of that in the tournament. I know there's probably yeah. a lot of Insector like diehard <laughs> fans, all five of them out oh, there. Man, this is probably the second most hyped thing after gimmick puppets. Yeah, Insectors. Just, I feel like it's just a little too late to release yeah. them. I, I see where the power is getting the multiple pops per mm -hmm. turn. Uh, but I, they just struggle to really do anything in the tournament scene. I haven't really them, seen them do much even in ranked play. I don't right. see them anywhere in ladder play. Um, and then just it really feels like the board is too tiny for them. Like they have a lot of cards. They can spam the board with monsters. But once you hit that level, like that monster three limit, you're like, oh, well, no more spamming. So, right. You know, I've run out of plays. Um, I just think Insector is one of those decks that don't really work in dual links. Mm -hmm. So they would need a skill to make them viable. And I don't think if I don't think Insector is an anime skill or an anime deck. So I don't think we're gonna be seeing any Insector support beyond this, which is sad because it I think it'd be cool to have more skills uh that buff individual decks. Um, but you know, they'd have to break the trend of making them anime specific to do that. Now, I don't think you're going to convince any Insector players not to go into this box because <laughs> yeah. this is like yeah, they're they're dying. Yeah, yeah. So if if that's what you're if that's what you want, go for it. But uh, yeah, if you're yeah. not an Insector player and you're thinking about it, it's probably not worth the expense. Uh, Jelly Cannon. This is uh we we hear about this one a lot, right? In the tournaments, yeah. like in the chat. Jelly Cannon's I, I, pretty funny. I guess it's just a meme at this point, right? Like, yeah. Jelly I mean, Cannon. it's not a bad card if you happen to get it. It's actually not that bad at all. It's um. Think Dimensional Prison, but way better because it works off of uh, your attacks as well, not just your opponents attacking into you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're swinging in for, you know, he has a defense mode window, for example, and you're just trying to swing for game, you can swing Jelly Cannon, bounce it back, go for a game. You know what I mean? 
uh, or alternatively more defensively you get swarm right. two and then get them out of here uh, unfortunately it does target and targeting battle traps you know it's one of the, it's one of those things you don't want your trap cards to be super specific so it's already a battle trap so it, it depends on attack declaration uh, mm -hmm. and then on top of that you have to target as well so um, there's just better traps that you know are are that are gonna they're gonna be used more often but if you happen to get this in your new and you go into this box for whatever reason I don't recommend you do but in, in case you do uh, this could be like just a card you use if you happen to get for sure okay but it's not worth going into the box just for no. this one okay. <laughs> not at all uh, just taking a look at some of these XZs down here in the in the SR range here oh, you forgot probably the best you are oh. out there smashing ground where where Oh, right, yeah, right next to it. Right next to it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Destroy the one face-up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. Oh. Yeah. This is yeah, just a okay. continuation in cards that are trying to replace Book of Moon. It does mm -hmm. not replace Book of Moon, but it's better than something like Hammer Shot, which is an SR because Hammer Shot could accidentally pop your own monster. Whoops. Right. Do that. Uh, so this is pretty much going to be like the best version of the card you can get. And even then, I think Chalice, Forbidden Chalice, is more relevant in this meta even on the ladder especially on the ladder i think forbidden chalice has so many uses being a quick play right um and that's just an again, sr in a mini box whereas this is gonna be yeah, a, yeah exactly you are in a main <laughs> again this isn't something okay so this, this isn't doesn't sell the box though no but that with jelly cannon is that enough no <laughs> okay all right just just trying to look at it from all angles. Now these these uh, these XZs here in the SRs are these any good? Uh, this was uh, the Dragulon. That was a selection box, right? Yeah, Dragulon's okay in a blue eyes meta, which we are not currently in. Uh, so mm -hmm. if you happen to just grab one of these in case we do enter a blue eyes meta or any dragon meta, I guess mm -hmm. uh, it's not a bad little card to have. It's generic uh, rank eight, so anything that can make Heliopolis can make it. Uh, you can put that in there instead. Uh, there's the Zombie Stein as well. I think he's number 22. Yeah, number 22. Nice, zombie Stein. nice. Uh, quick effect. You can, you know, uh, you can, you can, you can stop a card from activating. Mm -hmm. You know, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, he does have to go in defense mode. And even though he's a 4500 hunky monkey, he's a thousand defense. So right. it's pretty much after you negate, he's just gonna go down. Uh, right. Only unfortunate side is it needs dark monsters, so it's not as generic oh, okay. as you know would be ideal. But if you happen to grab one, there, I'm sure there's going to be a dark deck out there one day. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's even gimmick puppets that pop off, and this becomes a thing. Um, but you know, he's basically discount Bowser, but for not just monsters. So that's kind of cool. Um, everything else, I think, pretty much relates to the gimmick puppet archetype. Grand Mole. Oh yeah, Grand Mole. Yep. He's just not done anything right this now. was behind gimmick puppets like i almost yeah. almost want to say maybe this beat gimmick puppets like the two were like neck and neck in our survey yeah it was I mean, like gimmick he, puppets and grand mole <laughs> yeah it's just unfortunate he takes up your normal summons the only deck that could realistically mm -hmm. play it would be something like resonators and resonators would rather just play something like plasma than this right. guy um if if something like you know like if cassitis was back in the game you'd probably see this more like in in decks that don't use their normal summon like mm -hmm. resonators uh, but even then, you might see things like Obelisk more and stuff like that. He just came a little too late to be a super annoying. And I think in terms of future-proofing this card, he's just going to be used in some crazy cancer deck that'll like lock down their opponent and then, you know, get nerfed. <laughs> so, so it's probably better that he came out now and not earlier in the game's lifespan where he would have been a legit annoying card to deal with. Now, there is one we have to take a look at here, though, and that is the Exabeetle. Exabeetle, yes, pretty much the best thing out of this box, if not the only good thing out of this box, unfortunately. Now, it's not super overpowered, right? It's more because of it becomes a stepping stone. Digibugs is the best archetype in the whole game. <laughs> I've been trying to say this since it came out, and no one listened yes, to me. And look yes. at now, look at it. Now it's being played by everybody. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, no, this basically, you know, you go into the Rhino Bus, the Rhino Bus and Bus and he uh, non-targeting can just pop the monster with the highest defense on your opponent's side of the field. If it's a tie, you blow them all up, which is kind right. of crazy and if you, when you think about it. If you missed our Mat video, basically, instead of going into like a turn one bouncer, they can go into this, and they yep. go into the Rhino Buzz. Basically a better Gaia. It's right. kind of insane. Um, of, with all the same weaknesses, loses to Book of Moon. <laughs> but so does Bowser. So what, what can you do? Right. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what what the Exa Beetle is being used for. Um, on his own, we did actually see, I believe, in the GG Tour tournament versus 
um, Fire Kings and Exa Beetle be used to steal a Garunix from being revived. Okay. He's still lost because it's Automat versus Fire King when that's just not a fair matchup. Right. <laughs> uh, but it was cool that he did that. But for the most part, it's 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 meant to go into uh, the Rhino bus and just as a stepping stone. Uh, but it has made Automats really, really strong. So you have to, you know, include that. Okay. And then I guess last thing we could take a look at uh, Vampires. The Vampires. Vampires. Support. The Vampire is a very big brain deck that is extremely fair. It's rewarding when you play it right punishing when you play it wrong and because mm -hmm. of that it sucks in duel links because in duel links if your deck <laughs> is not unfair and pretty much cheats with an anime skill or a uh, some crazy consistency skill or you know does some crazy loop that we're wait waiting on konami to nerf it usually doesn't end up being right good and that is what vampires are they're very fair when they beat you it feels like they definitely earned that victory unless they utopia cheesed you and which case, whoops, didn't right. do that. Um, <laughs> so it's it's a deck that will be cog worthy, and if you're a fan of bigger brain decks to play that you know are not as linear as mm -hmm. some of the more current meta games that we've had, uh, that could be a drawing factor into the deck. Uh, but as of right now, it's not a deck that I would you know recommend people go get because it is very expensive and it's not very good for the cost. Um, you know, even if it's played perfectly, it's still, you know, the best it could do it was top 16 being played absolutely right. to perfection. Um, was there anything else in here that really stand that stood out to you that's worth going over? Because I'm sure someone's going to say, uh, what about blood, blue blooded Oni? Uh, I mean, uh, what, what about red headed Oni or whatever? But I mean, was there anything else that really stood out that was. Yeah, I mean, Shape Snatch is a level five. So oh, God. One tribute for 12,000 attack. That's. But we did see some videos with that, right? <laughs> yeah, we did see someone win with it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this box, it, 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 it's not good, right? Like, it's just not good at all. Is uh, it bad, the... though? Yes, right now it's bad. But I feel like it's bad on purpose. I feel like they purposely made this box bad to potentially sell another box. Because uh, it feels like this box is trying to set up for a future gimmick puppet uh, box, maybe some insectors, maybe some vampires. All these archetypes, all these cards feel like they're getting us ready for something more. Which we've uh, seen before, could... right? We've seen it with like yeah. Kawakis, Dark yeah. Lords, or, you know, they, they've done this before. Cyber Dragon, Crystrons. Right. Uh, this is one of those decks, or these. this is one of those boxes that, unless you're an Automat player, it's pretty much mandatory for Automat. But if you're not an Automat player, this is a box that you can completely ignore. It's really, really, really bad. But in the future, we may have to look look back and be like, oh god, they just gave us more gimmick puppet supports. Now it's broken. They gave us a new skill. They changed something. And now gimmick puppets is like tier one. And you have to go back and you buy have this to box go back. Yeah. yeah. So keep the that in mind. But... Strategy type of thing. So don't buy it now. Right. But you're probably going to have to do it in like a year or something. <laughs> <laughs> but that might alone make people want to buy it now you know i'm just gonna get it out of the way you know yeah definitely don't do that now because another thing they've been doing is releasing uh structure, structure decks, decks with yep. urs right and you're gonna end up like me that has seven madrats for some reason when, they're fine, <laughs> when the deck's finally good right you know? and you can just wait yeah. it all right uh so what do you guys think let us know in the comments below are you going to go into this box? I'm doing it for my free to play account uh series i do on saturdays i'm, I'm going to do some gimmick puppets just because they're in the game and why not? So I can try it firsthand and see, make a report in about a month when nobody cares. Yeah. But let us know in the comments below what you're doing. Are you going to go into the box or are you hard skipping this one and saving? I think a lot of people just keep saying I'm saving uh, for the new world, which is still months and months away, but that seems a little odd to me, but Hey, they're your gems. You take care I mean, of those things. Gems will probably expire. Yeah. <laughs> By then. So you'll have to spend them on something. Right. All right. Let us know what you think in the comments below. But we're going to get out of here. But you should get the Discord because it's free. The tournaments are free. And the new player help is free. I'm Circus. That's Rai. Uh, go in sectors. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Ouch. And we'll see you next time.